All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise and glory unto Yahweh, by Hashem Yahushua, by Hashem Kakodash, the bonds unto the apostles and the elders of GMS, and rule well, teach well, being great example to his younger brothers in peace and blessing. Salutations to the hopeful that got there pushing his word and truth and in sincerity across the four winds in the name of Yahweh, by Hashem Yahushua, pushing to get up out of here. Shalom to the hopeful that the believers and listeners who may have came back to the obedience of the scriptures through faith in Yahweh, by Hashem Yahushua. All right. And I want to um, do a response, you know, to the lesson done by Elder Apostle Bar. You know, um, he was responding to a video, all right, from the kid from Brooklyn.com, you know, and his um, advice about marriage, okay? Because one thing about it, you know, as we, you know, and just speaking to men, you know, as we come into this truth, you know, we have a totally, totally new perspective on everything, you know, what the scriptures say. Any man that's in Yahweh Shai, all right, is a new creature, and all things are become new, you know, and we have a completely different outlook and perspective, all right, on this thing called life, man, you know, because we're understanding as Israelite men, okay, we have a responsibility that's beyond anything that we've been taught in this society, okay, with as, as Israelite men, you know, there's requirements. All right, from the heavenly Father through our Son, you through Salaki so through His Son, Yahweh Shai. Okay, and we're being groomed up, okay, in the way, all right, of Yahweh Shai, man. Okay, and one thing about it, Yahweh Shai wasn't into, all right, he wasn't engulfed into the pleasures of this world. You know, he was locked into the the the, the, the business of the Father. You know, completing the mission. Okay, now. We're not in the exact situation as Yahweh Shai, okay, but we should have a similar mindset of being tapped into, okay, the, the mission, okay, and we'll get everything else on the back end. Now, I want to play this uh, from the Apostle Bar, and I want to respond to something, you know, that he said, you know, during this video, you know, so I'm going to let this play, you know, then respond in the spirit. In this knowledge, in this truth. Now, as it is is go get yourself a Hebrew Israelite sister <laughs> and try to make it work with uh in this knowledge in this truth now as it is written every man has his proper gift that is written and one of those gifts could be Yahweh Bar Shem Yashai send you a woman but if you ain't got no woman coming into this knowledge coming into this truth the smartest thing you can do is to master yourself and these scriptures, all right? And don't worry about no woman, because I'm telling you the time is coming when all hell breaks loose. You're going to get so much women, you're going to have to beat them off with a stick, all right? And that's just the truth. Right now, the main thing you want to do is concentrate on building yourself and this knowledge and this truth. All right, and mastering these scriptures, the understanding of these scriptures. Focus more on developing your talents for teaching and uh, feeding the sheep, like Yahweh Shai told Peter, if you love me, feed my lambs and feed my sheep. Totally dedicate yourself to that. And by default, the women will come. All right, and then they're gonna come according to your standards and not theirs. That's the smartest thing you can do. Now, the reason why I got this video queued up is, like Mike says. And All right, and that's the point, you know, and you know he made the point because you go into, you know, the book of First Corinthians, the seventh chapter. You know, let's get that where he's quoting from. Okay, it's all scripture, you know what he said. All right, now this is um, first Corinthians chapter 7, all right, verse 6. It says, But I speak this by permission and not a commandment. All right, so this is Paul speaking in the spirit, you know, and giving his advice, you know, um, from his perspective. And said, For I would that all men were even as I myself, which he was single. You know, he didn't have a woman. 
It said, but every man have his proper gift of the Most High, one after this manner and one after that. So Apostle Paul understood that, you know, each brother, you know, has their proper gift, you know, whatever their situation is, you know, with the woman, you know, if she's, you know, um, not a hindrance, you know, in the word going forth, okay, or in the brother's spiritual development, you know, she's not a distraction, you know, that's that brother's gift, you know, for this, you know, uh, for this time, you know, and the Lord is going to, you know, he's going to deliver households, man, you know, brothers, you know, and their families, you know, brothers, you know, and their, and their women, you know, some women going to be delivered, you know, being, you know, under, under brothers, <laughs> okay, so the Lord has this thing set up how he wants it, but even, you know, if brothers do have women, all right, our main, all right, our main focus is, Possible Bar says should be focused on becoming better teachers, becoming better leaders, okay, and becoming more like Yahweh. You know, our mindset should be to impress Yahweh. You see, we was groomed in this society as backwards to impress women. You know, to 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 put a lot of energy and effort into oppressing women. Like, nah, it's as backwards, man. The woman is supposed to be in impress mode for us, man, and we're supposed to be. Uh, in impressed mode for Yahweh Shah, you know, and this society doesn't teach that. But at the end of the day, we to the point now where we're not concerned, you know, with the attention or the affection of women, you know, to the point where we're, you know, uh, have our whole life centered around it. Like, nah, man, it is what it is, man. We got what we got. We we don't got what we don't got, man. Shit, it is what it is. <laughs> okay, to this point, it don't even matter. You see. But as Israelite men, you know, as the Apostle Gabar said, man, we should be focused on our skill set and this wisdom. Okay, mastering this wisdom, utilizing this wisdom, man, you know, and becoming more like Yahweh Shai. You know, everyone has, all right, their perfect gift. Now, I want to go here. This is Psalms, okay, um, 37. Okay, Psalms 37 and 4. It said, Delight thyself also in the Lord, Yahweh Bashim al Shai, and he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. Okay, and really, the desires of our heart, you know, as we've increased in righteousness, as we, you know, because this, this word has given us as Israelite man a standard, man. You know, we move, we should be moving with standards, as, you know, we throw that word king around, and, you know, Lord, and, you know, prince, like, well, we have to understand, hey, those. <laughs> those titles, okay, our forefathers that held those titles had standards, man, okay, and the scriptures say, what well, delight thyself in the Lord, which <clears throat> delight in this wisdom, man, we should have a joy from increasing in wisdom and understanding, man, okay, there should be a joy to us now, man, as men, okay, and the Lord gonna give us the desires of thy heart, man, and we should really want power, Okay, over women, especially American women, man. You know, that's something that should be coming. The, the American woman should become under the desirable, really. The, the, the mass majority, the 99 percentile, okay, should really become undesirable, man, as we increase in wisdom. You know, it really makes the, 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 the modern woman undesirable, I said. You know, this is, this is a bad deal, okay? That's why we 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 should we should be focused on this wisdom, getting this power, and going back east, man. <laughs> okay, the the West is a mess. Verse five it said, "Commit thy way unto the Lord. Trust also in Him, and He shall bring it to pass, man." So we should be committed to Yahweh by Shema Oshai. Everything else gonna be light work. The Lord increasing us and giving us, you know, the things that we desire. That's gonna be light work, man. You know, but we should be committed, okay, unto your how about Shema Shai. He's gonna bring these things to pass on the back end, man. It's just patience, man. Look at the uh, look at your Shai as an example, man. Okay, he 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 showcased great patience, man. You know, he killed the flesh to complete the mission. You see? And hey, we're in the time now where they, the flesh has to be tamed while we complete the mission, man. Okay, because you go here. Let's get this in um, Proverbs 18 and 1. It says, through desire. Wait a minute. The word desire. 
Okay? Well, what is our desire now? Through desire, a man having separated himself, seek it and intermeddle with all wisdom. Okay? So through desire, as men, we separate ourselves and kind of be isolated and build with your house shot, man. You know, it's time to watch scripture say, hey, though they have why be as though they have none, man. Because sometimes even brothers got women got to isolate and tap into your house shot, man. Tap into this wisdom, man. Okay? Let's get that in. Um, let's get that in Sirach 39. It's Sirach 39 and 1. It says, but he that giveth his mind to the law of the Most High and is occupied in the meditation thereof will seek out the wisdom of all the ancient and be occupied in prophecies, man. Okay? Hey. <laughs> We occupied in, 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 in prophecy and seeking out the wisdom of the ancient, man. Learning our forefathers, man. Like, we really, because see, Esau gave us rap niggas and street niggas to look up to, man. Okay? Which ruined us, you know, as men. Which destroyed, you know, which, 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 which tainted our development as men. So, as we go into these scriptures and we look at how our forefathers moved, this is what we imitate now, man. Our righteous forefathers, man. You know, we read these accounts. You get, you know, we read these proverbs and you know psalms of our forefathers, man. You know, now we're starting to imitate those men in righteousness, man. You know, <laughs> we're being reprogrammed in righteousness, man. So, hey, we gotta tap into these things and dive into these things, man. Being occupied in these things, man. This is our occupation, man. This men. <laughs> you see, of you how about Shema Osha? So I get this here, and we end it here. I'm gonna make it super long. You know, just want to. Lamb back, you know, off the point made by El Apostle Kabar. Now, this is um, Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 6, okay, verse, um, I started 17, said, For the very true beginning of her is the desire of discipline, and the care of discipline is love. And see, that's one thing we didn't learn in this society was discipline, man. Because you look at the condition of the earth, you look at the condition of our people, you look at the condition of Jake, okay? The circumstances, all this dysfunction that we see amongst our people, it comes from no discipline, man. You know, being brought up with no discipline, man. Just going for what you know. Everybody just going, you know, we all just going for what we knew, okay? And now we're in the midst of the chaos and the dysfunction of being undisciplined, man. Okay, so discipline is a foundation as a man that we learn in this ministry, man. That we practice in this ministry, man. Okay? Going into it, it said, And love is a keeping of our laws, and giving heed unto our laws is the assurance of incorruption, man. And now we see the why. When we, when we talk about the law, we understand perfectly why this law is written exactly like it's written. It makes perfect. The law should make more and more sense as we increase in wisdom, man. You know, and we compare the wisdom of the scriptures to the current situation of the earth. We see that the law was put in place to prevent the madness and the dysfunction, man. Okay, it says incorruption making us near unto our power. That's the thing. We want a close-knit relationship with how about Shema Osha, man. This society teaches you to chase, you know, your whole life. You know, uh, as a man, your whole life journey is to have some close relationship with a woman, man. Now it's off, man. Now you, you, you into your woman. You know, you and your woman could be cool, and you know that's a very unique dynamic, you know, between a man and a woman. Okay, but a man, as an Israelite man, you know, our number one concern is our closeness with you. How about Shema Osha, man? And then everything else revolving around us, like the Apostle Gabar said, man. You know, a hey, they the women go on to get on our turn, man. You know, or uh, just do it, and that's the discipline. If the, the woman that ain't on our turn having the discipline to do without, just wait. You know, he not fuck that settling and all this. You know, hell no, man. <laughs> you know, hey, they, they not on certain terms. Hey, just fuck, do it out. You see, brothers, we gotta start investing into ourselves more than anything, man. Okay, because this society. Just does nothing but scripts and takes away and chips away at the Israelite man, you know. But hey, and the scriptures make us take a stand 
for you how about shim al shai start investing in us and, and, and as we repair our relationship we how about shim al shai man okay the woman has to work on repairing the relationship with us man we have to focus on preparing our relationship with you how about shim al shai man okay verse 20 therefore okay the desire of wisdom bring it to a kingdom man as men we should want rulership Okay, a bunch of women in captivity ain't worth a goddamn thing, man. Okay, we should want rulership. Okay, it says, If your delight be then in thrones and skeptics, O ye kings of the people, honor wisdom that ye may reign forevermore, man. And you honor wisdom with time and sacrifice, man. You know? So I just want to bring that out, Lord, will you, brothers? All right, and you, few sisters, edify to the next time I say, Shalom. Quam Yasha Allah, Baba, Baba, DTA soon.